we're ready for acquisition stage now. So we're going to take the scan. You will see on the screen you have three choices. You have your lower scan, your upper scan and your buccal bite. It doesn't matter which arch you start with. You can start with the lower first or the upper first. It is easier to, to start with the upper jaw first. So we're going to start with the upper jaw. Tissue to dry the, the teeth, bite together. Bite together. Open wide. Select the upper tab. So you grab, rotate around into a pen grip. Now I'm using the mirror because we've got wisdom teeth in this patient. So we need to move the tissues out of the way. So you'll start to capture, as soon as you put the camera in, it will start to capture the, the, the image of the teeth. You will start around the premolar molar region, because as soon as you put it in, that's where it'll start to capture. We will then keep it about two to three millimeters off the occlusal surface, and we're gonna let the dynamic lens do all the work. Open nice and wide. So you see it started to capture the image on the occlusal surface. So we're gonna catch the eight, we're keeping it 60 degrees, two to three millimeters away, and we're coming over the occlusal surface. Look at the, the viewfinder on the screen, and you're keeping it, the teeth in the center of the camera. And we're just doing the occlusal surface first. You can hear the noise. Then we're gonna rotate with the fingers and do the palatal aspect, keeping it at a 60 degree angle to make sure that we capture all the tissues and the interproximal region. I'm doing the palatal aspects. Now I'm going to rotate it buccally and I'm going to put my mirror in to hold the cheeks out of the way. Rotate with my fingers, open a little wider for me, excellent. You see here now I've got the buckle of the eight. And I'm just now stitching the view together. Now you can stop at the central incised region if you want, take the camera out, and you can place it back in to do the buckle of the other side as well. The back of the camera can also act as retraction, so you don't necessarily always need to use a mirror. So the camera, you'll see there's no noise now. As soon as we place it in, it'll start to stitch the view, so now I'm going to rotate it buckily onto the eight. I'm using the back of the camera to keep the tissues out of the way. Two to three millimeters away, and I'm keeping it all central. We now have a look at the scan to see if there's any data missing. So we can place the camera back, and we can now have a look to see if there's any data missing. So we have a fantastic scan, just missing right at the disto, the disto buckle of the seven into proximal, and we've got some soft tissue. This will be cropped in the model stage, so we don't need to do any editing at this stage. We're missing a little bit of data on the disto palatal cusp of the six, but otherwise we have a very clean view. So we'll go back in and collect those missing points. So I want the Disto palatal of the six. So again, pen grip. And I'm just going to rotate. So as soon as it starts the stitch, there you go. So I've got that area. I don't need to go and scan it over the rest of the teeth. I'm just going to go right to the areas that I need. So I'm just going to go back in and get the buckle of that eight. Fantastic. So really difficult areas, but you can see how we can reproducibly get a good quality scan. That is the upper jaw done. Now we can move on to the lower jaw. Select the lower jaw tab. Again, dry the teeth. So Miller's the tissue, open wide, bite together. Just leave it there a few seconds so it absorbs the fluid, bite together. Well done. Now, we have wisdom teeth here, so you'll find that the buccal mucosa will fold over that. So I'm already got my mirror ready to keep that retracted. 
So we're going to start on the lower jaw scan. It starts to capture straight away in the premolar region. I'm keeping the tooth central within the camera and I'm keeping the cheeks out of the way there. Now I'm going to come round. I'm looking at the screen to keep the teeth centrally. So I'm just doing an occlusal shot at the moment. You see what happens? The optogate starts to come out. It's not a problem. Back in again, just to keep the tissues out of the way. So these are real applicable scenarios where this will happen. So it's just back in again. It only takes me a couple of seconds. Very quickly dry the teeth again, bite again. And back in to complete the occlusal shot. You'll see here, it just needs to stitch and the music is recording. Occlusal shot of the eight. Now I'm going to rotate, keep the tissues out of the way. I'm going to complete the buckle scan. I'm keeping the teeth in the center of the screen. I can then go out, back in again to complete the buckle scan. Okay, now I'm going to move to the lingual area, so I'm going to keep the tongue out of the way. So I'm going to use my mirror for this. So again, to just activate the scan, it needs to stitch it together, so I need the lingual. There's the lingual area of the five, six, four. Beautiful. Okay, now we can have a look at the scan. Place a camera back into the holder. Let's have a look at the scan. So we're just waiting for all the data to settle. We have all the interproximals. We have some little bit of noise on the distal of the eights. So we may go back in and do the lingual of the lower left eight. So again, dry the tissue, dry the teeth, bite again. Open for me there. I'm just going to go back in and capture the lingual of that eight. Okay, so don't worry about any of the soft tissues, that will be edited out when we come to the model stage.